Okay, the question was asked why um, those integration formulas gave us the functions, the arc sine or arc tangent. So let me do the proof of the first one. To prove that these are actually equal, let's start. Um, so we had du equals the square root of a squared minus u squared. Oops, I already have the du. <clears throat> equals arc sine of u over a plus c. So let's say our function is y equals the arc sine of u over a. So now let's unsolve this. Let's get it in terms of sine. So if this is the arc sine, then what we know is that the sine of y equals u over a. And so a sine y equals u. All right. Well, let's do some implicit differentiation. So if we take the derivative with respect to u of a sine y, and we take the derivative with respect to u of u, then we would get here a cosine y dy du, because we took the derivative of y with respect to u, equals 1. And then solving for dy du, we would get 1 over a cosine y. Now, my goal is to get this to look like um, the function I'm taking the antiderivative of here. And so what I'm going to do now is I am going to rewrite a cosine y in terms of the Pythagorean identity. And I know that seems strange, but I'm going to take this, just the cosine of y, and if we know that sine squared y plus cosine squared y equals 1. So solving for the cosine of y, we would get, really we get plus or minus, but we're dealing with just um, where it's greater than 1. So let's do 1 minus sine squared y. is So the cosine of y equals the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. So I can rewrite this here to be 1 over a times the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. Okay, now if I want to look at this to get it to look like it, the um, up above, what I would do is I would say that dy du equals... 1 over the square root of a squared times 1 minus sine squared y. I'm doing that to put the a back into the radical because that's what it looks like in the problem. And if I distribute that in, I would get dy du equals 1 over the square root of a squared minus a squared sine squared why? Well, what I know about this is that I can replace this a squared sine squared y right here with the fact that um, y, or sorry, u equals a sine y. So really, I can replace this with u, and I'm going to make that substitution that dy du equals 1 over the square root of a squared minus u squared. And solving for the differential, solving for the differential, we would get that um, dy equals 1 over the square root of a squared minus u squared du. And then the antiderivative of both sides would lead me back to the beginning which would lead me to y equals the arc sine of u over a plus c. So there's the proof for the arc sine. Arc tangent looks a little bit different.